Well, history is written by the victors. That's what they say. History is written by the victors. And that means that whatever history you're reading now, whatever history you have been reading, that's by the West or by Westerners, Western historians, the entire Western narrative of history is a rough draft of history that will not proceed to publication in the end. History, the history of the world, the history of the West, the history of even the time that we're living in now, and what came before now and what will follow after now is ultimately going to be written by the Muslims. The Muslim narrative is going to be the final draft of history because we know at the core of our beings, we know know to the bone certainty that the final victory will be for Islam. The ultimate victors will be the Muslims. You know it too, but you just can't admit it. But it's fine for the victory to be for Islam because the victory for Islam means a victory for humanity because those who oppose us are in fact enemies of humanity and you can see that by what they do. They're brutal and inhuman beyond all measure and you know it. They lie, they manipulate, they deceive, they undermine and corrupt the morality even in their own societies. You know that they're the enemies of humanity. You can see that if you just think about it objectively for five minutes. They're trying to enslave all of us. But we know that they're going to fail. We know that they're going to lose. We know that they're going to be defeated. The version of history that they have written and that they have spread will eventually be dismissed as the flagrant propaganda and lies that it is. And that includes everything that they're saying about themselves and about us right now. All of that will be discarded as dishonest, misrepresentative fiction. And the real history will be written by the victors, which means it will be written by the Muslims. And in my opinion, this is the way that we have to understand our lives today and events today. We have to understand it in line with the victorious narrative that will ultimately be written by Muslim historians in the future. We're living right now, every day, pages out of that victorious narrative. So I'm not going to say anything today about events today that will differ from what will ultimately be written about today's events in the future. I'm not going to be fooled by the fictitious narrative of the West, the narrative that will not survive the test of time, the narrative that will be thrown out by later historians as a distortion and as propagandistic misrepresentation of reality. The narrative that pushes the idea of a Muslim defeat, Muslim failure, Muslim weakness, Muslim corruption, and so on. All of the things that the West wants to believe about us and wants us to believe about ourselves. I'm looking at the present day through the eyes of the history that will be written that tells the story of Muslim victory. And anyone who looks at the world today in any other way or through any other lens, in my opinion, that person has allowed himself or herself to be duped into believing that the enemies of humanity are victorious or that they will be victorious, when the truth of the matter is that they're doomed. Look, as someone who does political analysis, the only credentials that matter to me are having a track record of accuracy in your forecasts, in your predictions. And there has been no predictions that are more accurate than what you can find in the Quran and Sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that Abu Lahab would die as a disbeliever and he died as a disbeliever. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the Muslims would win at Badr and they won at Badr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the Treaty of Hudaybiyah would be a manifest victory and it was a victory. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that Rome would defeat the Persians and Rome defeated the Persians. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the Muslims would liberate Constantinople and we did. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised that the Muslims would liberate India and we did. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised that Islam would reach every corner of the, of the globe, and it has. Everything that our Creator has told us would happen has happened, and He told us that Islam would be victorious, so it will be. And it doesn't make any sense to believe in any narrative that does not take that as a given, and that doesn't interpret every day of our lives and every situation that we face as part of that story that leads to the ultimate victory of Islam, because that is the reality. And if you don't factor that into your analysis, then your analysis is always going to be wrong. He will only ever be, to one extent or another, a propagandist for the very people who will be remembered by history as nothing but liars and as nothing but losers.